Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and this is Solo Q. Although it's kind of a funky Solo Q, this is the legend of Crusher 99. Uh, and, well, unfortunately, I didn't record my microphone, which is, which is really sad. Because what I wanted to do was make like a montage of Crusher's final hours in Season 5. Because Crusher is the only account I've got that never got into GM this season. So, I was like, I, I, I've got to do something. There was three hours left, ladies and gentlemen. I was at three... 1720 or something like that I believe hang on let me just check this professionalism in the middle of the video uh, 3000 yeah 3720 so the plan was to get into GM that's like 300 SR basically to get there was it doable can I do it um, and what we're gonna see here is my first game straight through to my last game this game here it went pretty well. I mean, it was a 3-0 win. I felt good. I felt fresh. Everything was fine. I jump into the well. It's all jazzy. Then we go to Volskaya. Now, this Volskaya game, you can see we managed to hold them on the first point. Um, uh, well, hold them on the second point. And we just managed to roll straight in here. Look, we've got 6 minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. We have absolutely, utterly smashed them. We go in. We pop all our ultimates. Everything's feeling beautiful. You can see me on the voice comms. I think I'm just shouting, like, kill mercy kill mercy basically that's all i do on the voice chat just shout for people to die uh charge the zarya there but who cares trying to burn through a barrier so we can kill it quickly and we just we just we just do work we do and it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful um so it started off quite well two victories and everything's feeling jazzy yeah some decent statistics did kind of well you know i was happy with myself i'm thinking hey maybe this is going to be doable because you guys know what overwatch comp is like especially in season five you know you could walk into a lot of trolls and a lot of like questionable stuff could happen anyway we move forward now we're on Li Zhang. this time i'm going to play winston the reason for this is i always check my team to see uh who's playing who who's playing what because none of the players on this team could play tanks and i know i can play winston and reinhardt so i don't mind letting people play dps if I can play the tanks. In fact, I quite enjoy playing Winston anyway. This was a, you know, a pretty easy win again. So I'm thinking, all right, this is great. This is actually going really well. We've got this. Now, this game on Gibraltar was a completely different kettle of fish. Look at the time. We are about to go into overtime. I was actually playing Lucio and I swapped a soldier because I was like, I, I didn't feel like we had the DPS. I'm like, we really need to push and kill and I was actually telling Diva there great job with the defense matrix Diva um, so I kind of did like an emergency swap now I've learned this um, off boombox from the UK team uh, and also E United what he tends to do is swap off Zen and go to soldier like when it's a very final push just for that kind of extra bit of damage the enemy team kind of don't expect it and it seems to have worked quite well here I mean I'm not sure whether my swappers inherently made the team win here or whatever but it feels like it was a good swap for me to make and, I'm, and I feel like I'm doing work I'm basically going with attack visor Winston pops his all I mean he has to do that There's he can do i unfortunately woke him up and now i was like apologizing like guys i'm sorry it was tack visor and it was but i should have stopped firing really kind of got a little bit of the bloodlust we're about to see a huge res coming i think from the mercy if memory serves me right if they even did they even have a mercy in this game maybe i've just lost my mind played that many games last night it was crazy yeah so i'm trying to burn through the winston um i'm pretty sure she does uh our divas destroyed their tally which was massively good in fact on the on the, the previous point our diva destroyed their tally as well uh no maybe they don't have a most maybe i'm just off my face yeah so there we go we managed to push that through so that was a much harder game and i was like Whoa, that was good like um i i could have easily lost that game uh, but i think my swap from the lucio to the soldier did make a pretty big difference or at least i think it did but i would only do that when it's like the last push i'm not going to just do that you know halfway through the game because lucio still work then we go to dorado now this Dorado game, again, was not easy, but it felt like we were doing a lot of work. Like, I don't know whether it was because our voice comms were good and all of that stuff. Remember, all these games are solo queue. Um, and I'm playing Lucio because we had soldier players and all of that good stuff. And basically, all the players, all the, all the heroes that I would play, everybody was playing those heroes. So I, I don't mind fitting into a Lucio. All I'm trying to do here is stay alive. Look at this. Their tracer is doing tons of work. The longer I can stay alive on this payload, the better. I'm healing everybody who's around me. Our Genji is now doing work. So this is the thing with supports. They enable DPS to do stuff. It's the same for tanks, right? Through me staying alive there and not getting killed, it's healing all of our team. It's giving them more longevity. It's letting them push out. It's letting them kill the enemy. And that's the crucial thing here. That was really unlucky there. That was actually bad play. What I tried to do is catch the wall jump, the speed boost off the wall jump, and just kind of get away from the pull spawn. But luckily, the rest of the team pulled through. So we get another win. And I'm thinking this is actually going to be really doable because uh, there were three hours to go. In fact, it might have been less than three hours. It might have been like two hours and 40 minutes or something like that. But basically, the, the card said three hours to go. Remember, we were 3,720 3, to begin with. So it was all going fine. Then we go to Temple of Anubis. Now... Uh, this, as you can see, is an overtime with the enemy attacking. We've just got a great Res of our Mercy player there. And again, I'm playing Winston. 
just like it, this is just standard 2CP in season 5 we're just Sorry. starting to you know <laughs> Outlast them. We got a great Mercy Res. In fact, it was a really good Mercy Res. That's pretty much won the game. I push forward, and uh, everything seems to be fine and jazzy. And we're going to take this map as well. So everything is kind of going well. But the only reason it's going well for me so far is because we've had teams that were able to put teams together, right? So what I mean by that is we had six players who could play all of the roles that we need to fit into what is essentially the season five meta of dive. So we had a couple of DPS, two supports, a tank player. Like you can. See the team there. This is a uh, oh, diva. Well, you can well, you could see the team. It's pointless me telling you what it was. And um, we're up to three thousand nine hundred and twelve. So it's going really, really well. Then we go to this, and this I mean, is player, uh, you, Nobani, you, and the game doesn't actually like start, it. which was unfortunate. And I thought, okay, this is probably a sign that uh, maybe the game was going to go bad. We actually kind of had some toxic sounding people in the voice chat as well in that game. So hey, whatever. Then we go forward to the next game, and we're back on Numbani again. Literally queued straight back into Numbani. This time, though, it's three all, and it's looking really, really iffy. All they've got to do is catch the point, and they've got a minute and 20 seconds. So what I'm doing is, because I know they play dive, is I'm playing Peel Doomfist. I'm hiding at the back. I want them to dive into the high ground. Watch this. This is how you play Doomfist. Like, this is so good. Genji comes up trying to do Genji things. He can't deflect the fist. He gets destroyed. Genji's dead. This has basically stopped their attack. Now, it's just down to our team to clean them up, and we're doing it beautifully. Right, also, we've kind of got a trolley comp here, if you see. We've got a Torb and an Orissa. I mean, I, I don't think we were like, let's do Torb and Orissa. I think the players just selected that. But often, things like that can catch the enemy team off guard. Even you could throw a, like a Bastion in there as well. Totally ridiculous. Um, so, Liam, who is the Mercy player, who actually I've queued into in a few games, uh, I had, he added me as a friend, and I don't mind accepting friend requests if, you know, players are cool and good and all of that stuff. And he was sending me like messages going, uh oh, they've got a fight. I don't know why he just didn't talk, but whatever. So now I'm getting really dodgy. Like, I'm, I dived in there, that was really iffy. Like, I could have been killed quite easily there. And I'm just trying to, like, maybe pick somebody up there. Got the Zen almost, managed to get out there, get back to the healing. So this is, like, this, actually, this is fairly decent Doomfist play. And it looks like we might be able to hold this. We've actually got the res there. They've, they've tempo res the uh, Winston, but then they've killed me. And this is where I start to get worried. I'm like, oh, no, I shouldn't have died here. This is actually quite bad. Like, um, it really isn't something I want to do there. But our Mercy comes through, reses me. And the rest of the team start doing work. I pop my meteor strike, which is kind of a waste because, well, there was nobody to really meteor strike. And if you look at this Mercy, if she had res now uh, and she popped it, that could have been quite bad for our team because I wasted meteor strike. But we managed to draw in this game. So no points lost, no points gained. That is kind of okay considering how that match went. They, The enemy rolled through us really fast and we managed to hold them. And they had a minute and 20 seconds left um, after they captured the first point, whereas we just managed to push all the way through. All right, so we're going to the next game now. This is on Route 66, and I'm playing some Zenyatta. Um, I have played little bits of Zenyatta um, throughout the night, but uh, this was probably the longest I've played him in any one game. Now, what I'm doing here is popping Transcendence to just force the soldier back. I mean, it's not the most optimal use of it, but I didn't want that soldier attack vision on the side. Uh, we do have four minutes left, so I'm thinking, look, if we can just sort of get rid of him and push him out of position, then it might be a good move. You can see the team are pushing forward. They're actually doing quite a bit of work. I get caught into a room with a Zarya who is supercharged and a Tracer behind. And that Tracer player is actually really, really good. So, uh, it isn't going too bad. Like, you look at our Genji and our Winston are really get racking up the kills and managing to push the payload forward, which is exactly what we need. This is awesome. And this means we can probably get pretty close to finishing the map off. Now, what I'm looking to do here is just drop my orbs onto people who need healing, charge up uh, alternate fire shots and spam them through into where the enemy are going to come from. Because it's quite obvious where they're going to come from here. And luckily, I get caught in the grab, yes. then I get killed. Now, if you notice what they did there, they grab bombed it looked like, but it didn't really matter because the rest of the team managed to kill them, which was awesome. And we push through and we get another win. So everything is going so awesome. And then I queue into Dorado, playing a little bit more Lucio on Dorado. And look what happens. The enemy team leave. Um, they actually had a lever at the end of the first round um, because we pushed it so fast. I think we, we had over four minutes remaining to attack. It was, it was totally ridiculous. And uh, a guy just obviously rage quit. These things happen. Like, for every time this happens against you, it happens for you as well so I just kind of see this as almost like a balancing of the system I'm like okay whatever it doesn't feel great to win like that but now I am getting super 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 close like really really close I think I'm like uh, 3970 or something at this point and I'm thinking alright two more wins and I can do this there's probably like an hour left on the season at this point that's easily enough time to get a couple of games in but I need wins and then ladies and gentlemen 
well, this happens. So this on the screen is my recording folder. Can you see the traffic cone? That is a broken recording. That is because my computer crashed. So I lost 50 SR. I couldn't believe it. I was so gutted. I was like, oh my God. And now there's like 38 minutes left or something ridiculous of the season. It, there's not much left. So I'm like, right, I've just got to go into games. We've just got to try and do some stuff. So we're back on Bolskaya again. I'm playing Winston and uh, we managed to take the point. Um, so it's three all, so we cannot lose. So I can't lose any more SR. But remember, I've just lost 50 SR. So it's literally, it's crushing to me. I cannot afford to lose another game, really. Um, and if I do, I'm going to have to hope that I can get maybe a load of SR for a win and hope that my MMR is just high enough to sort of push me through um, or, or something crazy like that. Anyway, we're pushing forward onto the point here. We're actually getting a couple of good kills, but they are also getting a couple of kills as well. But our soldier berserk comes through with a massive attack visor. He's getting loads of kills. We're managing to clean them up. And it's looking, again, really, really rosy. And at this point, I'm thinking, holy hell, maybe this is doable. But I've just lost 50 SR. Like, the sad thing is, this probably would have been the GM game for this account, which I would have been happy with because I only just wanted to touch GM with this account just to get the golden weapon reward. Because I know I can do it. And I was like, let's just do it. And, yes. well, luckily, we got a win. So we're going to go forward into the next game. See, we're at 3955 because we literally lost 50 SR, which is really gutting. Anyway, now we're on King's Road. This, talking about gutting, this is really, really gutting. Look at the score. It's 5 all. There's 46 seconds to go. We cannot afford to lose this. We've got Reaper with his ult up, and I think I'm telling him to use his... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm telling him to use it. And he goes in, he gets a kill, but then he gets killed. And I'm like, oh, we need to follow up. Look how low Reinhardt is. There's no follow-up. Look how low they all are. This was a game where we had support mains. We didn't really have DPS mains. Um, so the problem with all this is... We didn't really have much target focus. People weren't really attacking the correct target, so our damage was all over the place. Our team were good players, but it just wasn't good enough. So now this is a defeat. Now I'm starting to get really worried because the time is getting really, really close, and I need a couple of wins. I think I actually got a win in, which maybe I didn't record or something happened. I think my hard drives are full, actually, and we miss a game here, I think. Maybe I'll leave the uh, rank up. Let's have a look. Uh, 3960. So, yeah, I think we won a game. Yeah, it was before this. So we won a game, then we lost that game. Now we've got 36 minutes remaining. So these will be the final two games. This is Watchpoint Gibraltar again. And this time, we're doing quite a bit of work. Our team have got 40 seconds to go. We have to stop them. We didn't complete the map, but they're getting dangerously close. We're having a discussion in the chat whether we should go on them offensive, aggressively, really push them. I'm telling them when I'm going to use my ultimate. I'm telling uh, Lucio, uh, not Lucio, Zen, that I'm going to use my ultimate first because sometimes you actually use your ultimate before theirs. I'm waiting for Blade. Blade's about to come in. I'm going to beat the blade. Then I'm saying we can kill Genji. Genji can die. I'm pretty sure I say that right now. Maybe I don't. No, no. I, yeah, that's me shouting. Like, I, I, it's so good in that my microphone didn't record, guys. But I was shouting, kill Genji. Genji can die. Now I'm saying, let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go aggressive. We're going in. Mercy's won. Mercy's dead. So at this point, I know we've won. We've killed the Mercy. They've got no res. We clean the rest of them up. There's no way they can get back to the point. So this is getting really crucial now. We are going. I mean, I'm not making this up, guys, just for drama or anything like that. We are now going into the final game of the season. If I lose this game, I will not get GM on this account. So I will not get the rewards. And I would. I had an. I, I, I had squeaky bomb syndrome. I'm in my chair and I'm like, holy hell. Hopefully we don't get trolls or throwers because you get a lot of that at the end of the season. I'm like, please, oh, please. Up. And this is it. This is the very final attack of the final game in season five on Crusher 99. This is Iconvol. It's three all. We've got four minutes and 20 seconds to go. And there's a McCree hiding around the corner who absolutely destroys me. I'm laughing to my team going, what the hell is a McCree? I don't know why I decide to push the McCree because that's not clever. McCree just kills me. I'm like, okay, Mickey Boy, I think that might be a, is that a pro player? I'm not sure if that's a pro player. Somebody th said that maybe that he played for VV's Adventure, like a tier two team, or maybe even tier three, I don't know, I'm not sure. But anyway, their Hanzo has just killed all of our team. So I'm thinking, okay, this looks iffy, but we can still do this, right? All we got to do is target focus. All we got to do is go in and we'll be okay. I'm trying to play Winston, play safe. I don't want to just dive in and die. You know, that's not my game. I want to make sure I can hit a target and we can do something. We get a massive pick there though. Sorry, Zen sorry, we, kills we, we, the, the McCree. I tried to jump in, but hit the lamppost hilariously. They use res. Now, it's going to be a case of who can we kill. I know McCree can die now, so I'm screaming into the mic. McCree can die, McCree can die. We get McCree. It's still back and forth. This is though, it's not a total win. I hear the call for uh, Doomfist in the backline, so I dive onto him and get the kill. This is actually really good for us now because we're cleaning them up. I dive down to get the health. I drop my barrier. I shouldn't have kind of done that. It was a bit of a waste, but I managed to catch the Mercy. Luckily, we kill the Mercy. Now it's all looking really good. 
They've lost a lot of their team. Our respawns are closer. I think their <laughs> their Winston understands that basically it's all over by the shouting, and that is pretty much it. That was the win. Insane, guys. Let me know what the hell happened to you in season five. Did you meet your goals for season five? I managed to solo queue a lot of my counts all the way up to GM. Um, my major goal oh, is I managed to get into top 500, but only for a few games on the account I never talk about. Um, it was playing Winston primarily. Um, I only lasted there for maybe a game or two oh, games, and then I dropped out of it. Um, so I don't have any of the sprays or anything like that. But that was pretty good. It was like 4,300 and something um, when he managed to do it. It was a little bit earlier on in the season, so it was pretty good. Um, all my other accounts have got into GM, and I'm really happy with that. And I guess like what I'm looking forward to doing next season is... I don't know, like I said this last season, like I kind of just want to focus more on one account. I'm not sure I really need to play on all these accounts anymore. It's kind of ridiculous that I do this. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I will just focus on Crusher, which is basically the old um, Stylosa account, which I had to rename because everyone was like, oh my God, is that you, Style? But everyone knows it's me anyway now. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But guys, let me know what your goals were in the season and if you met them. I managed to meet my goals. My, my, like, my ultimate goal for Overwatch would to be top 500 consistently. I don't know whether I can do that. Like... I, I, like here yeah, I can only kind of carry myself so much with my mouth <laughs> going do this do that guys attack this attack that um, then when it comes to like pure mechanical skill I can't really compete with other top 500 players I don't think but those were my goals and I kind of met them guys let me know what you think about this video in the comments below it's been a bit of a funky solo queue video and I hope you enjoyed it alright guys I'm in solo so this is Unit Lost and I will catch you on the next one toodaloo